All right, what up, people? What's going on? It's your boy, Mr. Locario, the bad boy of the dating game. What's good? So today I'm gonna be talking about flakiness. You know, this 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 topic never gets old because you know chicks be flakier than a motherfucker out here. But um, before I get into all of that, I want to uh, shout out to all the people um, who was hitting me up about the sale. Because the sale actually, as I'm recording this now, it's 11.37 p.m. And the sale is still on up until midnight. <clears throat> so, if you want to get up on the sale, this bad boy membership sale, where you get uh, my, free, my DVD for free, you got to, you know, do it. Actually, if you do it before this you know show ends i'll still you know get you on the sale but i'm just letting you guys know that the sale is going to end soon you feel me what up oh johnny what's going on sheldon what up so remember guys the sale is still on um and i'll have it going on up until the end of this program i don't know when this program is going to end but till the end of this program if you want to jump on the sale you can go to badboymembership.com join the membership and you get my um, DVD for free. You get How to Pick Up and Date Multiple Women seminar for free. What up, Kid Pump? What up, Cameron? What's going on? The Alpha Male. What's going on? Zuri J Dog. What's good? Oh, and I forgot to tell you guys too that I just came out with the How to Have Sex with Two Women a Day um, audiobook. So the audiobook is done. The audiobook is done. So if you guys want the audiobook, Make sure you go to MrLucario.com, go to the store page, or I'm going to have the link below this video where you guys can click to get the audiobook. You feel what I'm saying? Because the audiobook is fire. So for all you dudes that don't, that, you know, don't want to read, that don't like reading, you can get the audio version of How to Have Sex 2 Minute Day. But you also can get the hard copy still. You feel what I'm saying? Get the hard copy or the audio version. And you can step up your game. You feel what I'm saying? So make sure you click the link below this video. Go to MrLocario.com. Click on the store page. And click on the the you know the, the, the book page. And it have the, the, the e-book. I got the hard copy. And I got the audio version. So you guys can get all of that shit. What up, Jimmy H? Sheldon Smith. So the, so the audio version is $97. And it comes with two bonus products so each version you get it comes with the two bonus products which is the conversation booster and the confidence booster so if you buy the audiobook version you get the audio book of this right and you get the conversation booster and a confidence booster so you're getting basically three different programs for one price you feel what i'm saying what else we got up in here zr ru zao What's going on? Wisdom whiz, what up? So, you know, real quick, I wanted to talk about women who, you know, who are flaking and the truth about flakiness, right? And what you got to understand is just, just in general, right? Most of the time when women are flaking, it's because they're not really feeling you. Let's just keep it real here. Most of the time when a chick flakes, it's because she's not feeling you, right? It's really, it's really that simple. Now, there's other, of course, you know, situations where a girl will flake, but it's usually because she's not feeling you. What's going on? Who's, who's, who's this? What's popping? How you doing? What up? What up? Who's this? Yeah, it's Ronnie. Ronnie, what's going on? Where, where you from? Miami. Miami, what up? What's going on with you? Hey man, you know I got I got two questions to ask you. Cool, cool. Um, you know, cause you did a a, a short podcast not too long ago called you know the easiest way for get girls like to like you. Mm, right. And you and you yeah and, and you mentioned that that you have to be different. Mm, right. The other men, the uh, the other men. Mm. But my question is. Like everything that you talked about in your videos and your podcasts, mm. by by you could be different that way too. Mm. Could 
because you you could be different like right, when when you upgrade a female's mind, you could be different like that because you know most people, um, especially men, mm. when they get with women, they talk about they they put the girl in interview more about asking a whole bunch of questions mm. and they ain't leading nowhere. Right, right. And you right. being just like other men out there. Mm. No, real talk. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. You're right. Because the thing is, you know, upgrading a chick's mind is basically being different because most dudes ain't really worried about that. They're not even thinking about that. You understand? And, yeah. And also, too, yeah. the the upgrade of, of, of her is the thing that's going to make her see you as different and, and make her gravitate to you because now nah, that's something that she hasn't experienced because all the difference is, all the, all, when we talk about being different... All it's about is giving her a, a, a very unique experience, something that she she'll feel like you know I've never felt this way either before or you know not in a long time. You see what I'm saying? So you want to give off that like impression. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, because see, when guys don't realize is that that's why most of the time women be flaky with these women mm -hmm. because these women ain't experiencing that experience with the man. Right, 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 and that's yeah. and, and that's yeah, and that's a big reason with flakiness because, you know, if you meet a chick and sometimes she'll give you the number, just because you know what I'm saying, like they'll just be like whatever I give you the number, but there's no experience attached to that interaction, no no different experience, nothing unique, and then so she's not really excited to like just see you or deal with you or get a call from you. So if she if you do call her. And she might entertain talking to you or hitting you up or texting you, but she's not really trying to make nothing happen. She's not excited to do nothing, and then therefore you end up getting flaked on if you try to make a date happen with her. You feel what I'm saying? So yeah, yeah that's how it goes, man. That's how it yeah, goes. Yeah. Uh, my next question is, um, how do you when you when you see a girl you want to talk to, how do you break the ice? How do you break the ice? Yes. Well, it again is it all it all depends on the context and how you want to do it because there you know breaking the ice just really means you know opening the conversation you understand so you can either open it indirectly or you can you know open it on a direct note so you know indirectly is just basically like I you know I talked about before is that you're using things in the situation to start the conversation you know what I mean so an indirect approach let's say you at you know at the bar or something you see a chick. And let's say she's wearing some sort of necklace that you think is cool. Be like, yo, what's, you know, what's up? Where'd you get that necklace from? That looks nice. You understand? So you're breaking the ice by going indirect. You understand? Or you just go yeah, indirect and then you just let her know like, hey, what's up? You know, my name is so-and-so. You look real cute, blah, blah, blah. And then you just do that. You see what I'm saying? But go ahead. What are you saying? Yeah. Man, because like, like, what happened was mm -hmm. I was at the store the other day and um, this girl walked in the store and she was checking out for some stuff mm -hmm. and she had some cool shoes on that make, made her look good in them. And I told her, hey, excuse me, you look very awesome in them shoes. That's what I told her. Right, right. And but right. it ain't go nowhere, but I ain't sweat it because not all women is going to be interested. You understand mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Right, right. And that's the thing, and, and you know yeah. that, that's the that's the indirect way of doing it. You was doing it indirect. So so when when you said that, what happened? Did she say thanks or what did she do? What was her response? She said thanks. She okay. said thanks. And then what did you say after that though? Nothing. See, that's, you should have kept going. That's the thing. That's why I didn't go nowhere. You got to yeah. keep going. Yeah, but you know, to be honest with you, I was doing that for practice. You know, right, I was just practicing. Right. I, I didn't really want to get with her like that right. because all I'm doing right now is practicing. Okay, cool. That's what's up. That's what's up. That's what's up. But yeah, you know, it's good to practice. Keep that practice going. And, you know, each time you want to add more to it. You feel what I'm saying? Because you want to you wanna be able to, you know, keep it going and get used to, um, you know, keeping it going. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So make sure but, you do that. So, but... So that means that I could open up a conversation mm. by focusing on her details, like what she got on, what she's doing, right. anything. Right, exactly. And, you know, when you're doing it that way, when you because that's the indirect way, when you're doing it indirectly, you can see how she responds. You understand? You can, you can sort of feel her vibe out without you having to really go in yet. You understand? So I always tell dudes when they're beginning, you know, to try indirect because indirect is a little bit more... Um, it's easier to do. You feel what I'm saying? Because you're not really directly trying to get at her. You're just sort of saying certain things to see how she's going to react. 
And then if you see that she's sort of like pleasant and cool and she's responding to you positively, then you can, you know, keep this shit going. You understand? I always think that the direct way is the more, I feel like direct is more advanced than indirect because direct means you actually are letting her know like, yo, that was good. You know, you're interested. Let's make it happen. You feel what I'm saying? And so it's, right. it's a little bit more advanced. And so, you know, I, I tell dudes to still go direct, but you gotta, you gotta be really comfortable and well versed in interacting with chicks in order for the direct approach to fully be a f- like efficient for you. You see what I mean? Because if you're if you're right. nervous or you're insecure or you're you you know you're scared to talk to girls, being direct is not going to really help you that much because you know it, it, you're just not going to be comfortable saying what you're trying to say. You feel what I'm saying? So right. So I say for right. all the all the can beginners. I you, can I ask you one more question? Yeah, yeah go ahead. Um. Like, my, my, my thing is, I want to know, mm. like, is it, is it like, the main thing is, what I, what I wanted to ask you was that, uh, you know, I wanted to learn how to be able to feel a girl out, like, you know, to mm. see, like, the best way. Mm. So you saying see like if a girl is feeling you? Oh, so you see, you're trying to say like you're trying to fill her out to see how her vibe and see if she's uh, if she's actually into you, like she's feeling you, but th- through actually talking to her. Yes. Yeah. So the thing is, usually, this is the thing when you when you're talking to a chick, right? The way you're gonna really see if if she's you know feeling you is that. You know, and it, it all depends on it all depends on the situation because if you got enough time, the more time you have with a chick, the more you can see if she's feeling you, right? So what I mean is, if you at a party or you at the bar and you're talking to a girl for like 15, 20 minutes, you'll have more of a chance to see if she's feeling you versus if you meet a girl in the street and you're talking to her for two minutes. You feel what I'm saying? Because you the, right. you have more time. You feel what I mean? So. The thing is, in the street, if you're talking to a girl in the street, you're talking real quick, you're like, yo, what's up, you know, here's my car, you should give me, give me a call, whatever. A lot of times, you're not going to really tell too much if she's feeling you because you don't have enough time to really see. So I would say, in when you're in situations where the girl is actually, uh, you know, there for a while, you understand? Like, let's say you're at a, at a club, at a, at a bar, at a party, or whatever, and she's actually standing there talking to you for a while, then you can really see if she's into you. But all you really need to do is you got to turn up the flirting. So when the flirting happens, that's when you're going to see if a chick is into you. So what that means is, is that if you, if you're just having small talk with the chick, you're not going to really know uh, too much if she's feeling you because it's just small talk. It's just, yo, you know, what's your name? Where you from? Blah, blah, blah. Regular small talk. Now, once you go from that to actually flirting, you know, you might say something like, yo, you know, you got some really nice eyes and, you know, that's some soft shit. And then you go, from there to like getting a little bit more, uh, you know, explicit with your flirting, you understand? And then you start touching her a little bit, bringing her closer to you, touching her hand, all this other stuff. And how she responds to that is basically going to tell you if she's feeling you. So if you're talking to a girl and let's say you get close to her and you, and then you grab her hand, you start holding her hand and shit, right? While you're talking to her. And if she's holding your hand too, and she's not letting go and she's letting you hold her hand, that's showing that she's actually into you. You see what I mean? But you have right, to be right. able to. You got to be able to do that first. You understand? You got to be able to yeah. be in that situation in order to see. Yeah, because um, about that. What about if mm. you know about being myster- mysterious? Like mm. when she asks you questions, how do you answer those? You say it again about being mysterious. Yeah. Mm. Well, see, the thing is, with, with being mysterious, is something that. Is more so like, you know, it usually works more when it's when it's when it's when you're interacting with her over time. You understand? Because if I just if you just meet a girl, you know, tomorrow night and you meet her at the bar and y'all talking, you understand? You're gonna you and her are gonna be going back and forth exchanging certain things. Now the only thing that'll make it you more mysterious is that if you don't give out too much information about yourself. So she might she might ask you some questions. Right, but you don't have to tell her your whole life story. You feel what I'm saying? And saying you tell her certain things, but you also leave certain things out so that it gives her, you know, something to wonder about you. Right, but, but again, how you do that? 
So you said you said how do you how do you give up? What, how do how do you do what? Which one? Which part? Like if she say she asked me a question, mm -hmm. like you know, and when she asked me a question about myself, what mm -hmm. should I say? Like give me um mm -hmm. give me an example of what I should do it. How I should do it. Right. So basically, you know, you can tell her about yourself, but if you want to be mysterious, you don't tell her everything. So for example, let's say she says, you know, oh, you know, where you from, or you know, where where where'd you grow up at, or whatever, right? And then let's say you say, you know, I grew up in, you know, I grew up in Alabama. I was there for a few years, right? That's t that's answering the question. That's letting her know some information, but you're not giving her too much. Like, you're not saying, yeah, I grew up in Alabama. I was on this street and that street. And when I was a, a kid, I did this. And then I got a sister and a brother that, you know what I'm saying? You're not going all the way into where she's getting your whole story. You see what I'm saying? Because you so want to... Basically, basically, you just answering a question... Mm -hmm. But you ain't going into full detail right, about it. Right, exactly, exactly. You know what I'm saying? Okay. And then so, and yeah. Then, and then also, too, you know, that's a good segue to say to her, like, let's say she keeps asking you a whole bunch of shit, right? And you could say to her, listen, you know, um, you, you seem like you want to know a lot about me. So, you know, I'm going to take your number and I'm going to give you my number and then we're going to set something up. We're going to get together, you know, sometime soon and, and, and talk more. You feel what I'm saying? So, yeah. so, so that's a good say. So, you know, if you talk to a girl and you see her, that she's even asking questions to, you know, to you, you understand And Let's say you're about to bounce or something or whatever. Just be like, yo, you know, this seem, you know, you seem cool. We need to get together again and do this and talk some more. So give me your information. You feel what I'm saying? So now if she is interested in you, she's going to want to know more and that's going to make her want to actually go on a date with you. You feel what I'm saying? Right. So, you know, so yeah, that's how, that's how it go, man. You feel me? Yeah. Yeah. yeah man. Because, but that's why another thing. That's why women flake a lot on men too, because they they tell the women all to, they go into full detail about mm. what they do and where they grow up and right, all right. that. That's why women start flaking on I mean, most of these dudes is because they they not mysterious. They don't mm. have no intrigue about themselves. They don't leave it open ended. Well. The girl could find out more on the date. Mm -hmm. That's why they get flaked on them. Right, and and also too, you know, the thing is, you got to understand what, you know, um, how you're coming across also when you're dealing with a chick. Because the thing is, you know, if you just keep talking and talking and talking, right, and you're revealing all these things, and you know, you're 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 saying all this stuff, and you're just saying all this, you know, saying too much. What you're doing is, is that you're not leaving room for you to really holler at her and see what she's about so that you can get information about her. Because basically, she should be doing most of the talking. You feel what I'm saying? That's when, and this is what I tell yeah. guys, when you're talking to a chick, she should be doing most of the talking, at least 80% of it, meaning you're just sort of... Uh, you're facilitating the conversation, you're asking questions, but she should be the one that's talking the most so that you can get information out of her so you can see what she's about, uh, what's the deal with her, and then see if you actually want to keep shit going or whatever. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, so that's what the, that's what it is, bro. But, yo, I appreciate you calling, man. That's, a, that's what's up, bro. All right. All right, man. I'm going to holler at you, man. Peace. All right. Later. Yeah, man. So what's going on, people? What's popping? I was like, let me come up in here and do the do the late show because I was I was talking to this dude earlier about flakiness, man. You know, and and cats don't realize, you know, what's up with the flakiness. Let me get this call real quick. I'm gonna go into it later. Yo, what's popping? Who's this? Oh shit, I'm on. What's up, man? What else? What's going on? <laughs> Yeah, so um, I'm gonna just say my name is Kevin. I'm not trying to get slander out here in the comments, man. The people are not nice, man. All right. <laughs> so let's go with you. So, uh, I have two questions for you today, Mr. Ricardo. So, um, um, I'm a university student, and mm. I go to a pretty big university. Mm. What I've come to find out is that in this day and generation, like social media has like a big impact on stuff. So. Mm -hmm question is that um, does having a lot of followers or likes on Instagram or all these social media platforms create attraction for women and because um, I feel like sometimes they just like look people up to mm. see like how they are on social media platforms mm. and um, 
to like to like judge them. Right. So like, do you, do you think that's true? Like, do, do you think women do that? Well, and um, it, if a guy is good looking, but he does not have like the high social status, and he does not have a, like a high following, or you know all this stuff, do you think the girl will be turned off? Right. And because she will think that you know there has to be something wrong with this guy that not many people are fucking with him. Right. Well, one one so. one thing is this is that you know dep- it depends on the age of the chick. Like a, a young chick who's like eighteen and nineteen and who actually. Like, you know, who would generally care a lot about that shit that would necessarily impress her as far as the likes and the subscribers and how much people you got following you and all that other shit. But but how you how you appear on social media definitely has an impact on women finding you attractive or not. So, for example, if you have your Instagram joint and then let's say you 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 meet some girl at a, a bar or something or at a party and you be she's like, oh yeah, let me follow you on Instagram and you follow her on Instagram. So she's gonna look through your whole Instagram. She's gonna look through a whole bunch of shit. So the thing is, if she sees that you're you, you know, the pictures show that you have some sort of like interesting life, it's gonna make you seem more attractive. If she sees pictures of you with girls, it's gonna make you seem attractive. If she sees pictures of you with, you know, hanging out with people, having fun, that's gonna make you seem attractive. If it's just a whole bunch of, you know, uh, selfies of you in the bathroom, you know what I mean? It's gonna make you look like a lady. You know what I'm saying? So, so you know, the thing yeah. is, but it, but it's not necessary for you to have, um, you know, so a big social media following and all this other craziness for women to be attracted to you. You don't even have to, you don't even need any of that, period. You understand? But if you do have it, it does help when it's, when if you look on someone's Instagram or their Facebook timeline and it seems like they have interesting things going on. You see what I'm saying? Because women, yeah. women generally, um, they judge guys based off of, you know, how they appear to be, meaning like what's attractive to them is an attractive life, meaning that you got shit going on. You you have fun. You people like you. You understand? Like there's you know uh, uh, you're you're the life of the party type of guy. You're the type of guy that you know women think are cool and and and, and guys think are cool or whatever. You got friends. You got you know people that care about you. All that type of shit. Women care about. You feel what I'm saying? Which creates okay. that attraction. You see what I mean? Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. You know. so, so that's what I was gonna say. You said that eighteen and nineteen year old girls probably think about this stuff. So that's what I was trying to say. Was I, I kind of fall in that demographic because mm-hmm. I am young. So it's What's, like, how old are you? I guess I have to deal with this. How old are you? I'm twenty one. Okay, you're twenty one. Yeah, so you're you're still in that sort of that sort of young. You know what I'm saying? Like joint. You know what I mean? Yeah. But yeah. um. But but the so thing I, is, I guess that um. That, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Oh no, I was gonna say, but the thing is, don't don't let that. Uh, deter you from um, you know fucking with chicks. You you understand what I'm saying? Like don't don't feel like oh I gotta get like a whole bunch of pictures on my Instagram now and I gotta do this I gotta do that now. Nah, just you know just do do you you know if you got Instagram or Facebook and you post stuff up do you do things that's interesting to you because what you want is you want a girl who's going to be interested in who you are. Uh, naturally, you see what I'm saying? Because let's say yeah. if you if you try to fake the funk and take all these pictures of you doing all this extra shit and try to you know live this type of life where you're trying to portray yourself as a certain way, and then she's being she's attracted to you because of that. When she sees that it's not really like that in your real life, then it's gonna make you seem like boring. You understand what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So that's I what I'm did. saying. Be be real about it. It's the same way as if as if you do. Imagine you know when you do like online dating and you see a picture of a a, a a girl and she has a few pictures of herself and she's looking hot as hell and then you meet her in person and she don't look as good. You know what I'm saying? It's like that's that's the same type of thing where it's like if she sees a certain image on social media, but that image does not correlate with with your real life. Then it's gonna seem fake and it's gonna seem unattractive. You see what I'm saying? That, that's what I was trying to say. Was like, what if the dude like in, on online doesn't look all that, but like in real life, you're like, damn, like you know, I was wrong about him, or you know, stuff like that. So I guess you know, in that situation, it's their loss, right? So it's like, yeah, pretty whatever. much, pretty much. You know what I'm saying? Because because the thing is, people are gonna perceive you how they're gonna perceive you. You understand? You can't you can't really um, a you lot can't of times that, yeah. you, right. you can't really control that, but. Yeah. As long as you're being authentic with how you're coming across, it, you know, it is what it is. You understand? You just don't, you just want to make sure that 
you, you just don't you don't want to this is, this is what I'm trying to say you don't want to do things um, when it comes to women for women if, if you get what I'm saying meaning you don't want to be saying oh let me go take this cool picture over here because I know that chicks is going to like this you feel what I'm saying like you should take the picture because you want to take the picture because you think it's going to look cool and then as a byproduct chicks will like it because you know you're doing you you feel what I'm saying so anytime but, you start but in that, in that shit, same thinking like what about like the way you dress like what if you wear some things mm -hmm. that you know women like like mm -hmm. and you only wear them because you know women like you know do you understand what I mean right. like do you, should you like not wear them because you think women like them like even though they are successful like you know some items like you know mm -hmm. a suit or a leather jacket or whatever right you understand what I mean right well this is the thing if if you wear things you should wear things because you like them first and then the woman is come second. Meaning, don't wear some shit because you just because you 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 think women like them or you know that the girl's gonna like it. Because this is what happens. And when you start, when you and this is this is a, a mental thing. This is something w that goes with your mind state. When you start doing things for women or because you you think women are gonna like it or you're just doing it just to get women, right? That sets up yeah. a situation where you start to do that in other aspects of your life so or, or any other aspects that you do you're interacting with women so now you be at let's say a bar or something and you're like oh let me go buy this girl a drink because that's what you know the women like or let me go talk to her this way because that's what the women like or let me do so now you're not even you don't even know who the fuck you are anymore you understand because you're doing everything just to try to impress them or to get them you see what I mean and the, the ironic part yeah. is the thing that actually gets them to really feel you and to want to fuck with you is how you are, you know, in, in reality, how you are, you know, your personality, who you really are. That's the shit that makes them gravitate to you. So oh, this is what I always say to guys, don't do shit for women. You see what I'm saying? Do shit because you like to do the shit and then you're going to attract women who like the shit you do. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's that's how you got to do it. So don't 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 ever get into the thought process of doing shit just because you 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 know or you think uh, this girl's gonna like it. You see what I'm saying? But if you if you're doing certain things, like let's say you let's say you, you you notice that girls like leather jackets, right? But if you don't like leather jackets or you don't like wearing those shits, don't wear the fucking leather jacket. Don't do it just because they like it. You need to wear the leather jacket because you like it. You feel what I'm saying? Now, if they end up liking it as a byproduct of you doing your thing, then that's cool. You feel what I'm saying? But don't just do it for them. You see what I mean? Because then that's a that's a slippery slope because you're going to start doing other shit for them. You're going to start, next thing you know, you're going to have a girlfriend and then you're going to start doing everything she wants you to do. You're going to start running behind her. You're going to just be, you know, you understand what I'm saying? All of that happens because your thought process started with you trying to do shit for her. You see what I'm saying? Right. So you got to yeah, make sure, you, you know, <laughs> you're not doing that bullshit. You feel me? Can I ask you one more question before I, I, I hang up? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Uh, I just wanted to say, so I'm, I've been going out recently. I, I'm new to the game, so it's like I'm still in the stage of, like, the approach anxiety where it's like, like, you hesitate to approach. So there were many times where I've gone out and, um, you know, I see a girl, we both make eye contact, mm. but it's like, I hesitate to approach because of that fear of rejection or just like how the conversation is going to go. I'm not going to be like warmed up enough. Mm. So there are times where literally the whole night I don't end up talking to any girl and I just come back home and I'm just like, wow, what a dumbass. Like I didn't do shit. Right, right. <laughs> it's like, so it's like, uh, but so the question was that if like, like you know, you're going to a bar, you, you see that, um, the, and you make eye contact with a girl, mm. but you hesitate, and later on throughout the night, like, you see her again, like, throughout the bar. Like, is she turned off? Or, like, will she be turned off because she thinks that you weren't, like, um, confident enough to approach her the first time? Like, do you understand what I mean? Yeah, well, usually, usually, and this is what guys don't understand. If, if you checking out a girl, right, and let's say she notices you checking her out, right, yeah. and you don't go up to her or you're, you're hesitating or you take a long time and you, or you just end up never really going up to her or you take, like, forever... You you hesitating and to, to not approach, she's thinking that you're rejecting her. Do you understand what I'm saying? Oh okay. so right. So this is so this is what and, and then the thing is is that if you come at her later, what she's gonna think a lot of times 
is that you know you just are going up to her now because you have you you've exhausted your options or you know you're you're you, oh, you see what i mean okay, so okay. so so she's not she's not thinking oh this guy is not approaching me because he's nervous women don't think that way because women think women see women don't even realize guys are nervous to approach them because they think that if a guy likes them they're going to approach because they what they do is is that they get approached by guys a lot uh, all the time and they usually get approached by guys who aren't afraid to approach. So in their in their reality, men who like me are gonna approach me. Men who don't like me aren't gonna approach me. So you're you're she's seeing you as the guy who doesn't like her. You see what I'm saying? So and so this is why it actually makes a lot of sense. I didn't right. I didn't think of it that way. Right. You see what I'm saying? Pretty interesting. Right. So this is why you, you, you should go and approach if you actually want to do it, because <laughs> the thing is if she's feeling you, then she's gonna cooperate. You feel what I'm saying? So you know, yeah. Because this, this reminds me. This reminds me of this one girl that I was like, I was like, like when I was entering the bar, I saw her checking me out to the corner of her eyes, mm. and it's like I just ignored it and just walked past, like you know, mm. head up high, whatever, not mm. appearing, whatever, confident or whatnot. And mm. then like I didn't, like I said, I, I had approach anxiety. I wasn't really doing anything. Right. So like I remember seeing, and I was like, I remember her checking me out. So like I'm gonna go and like you know, kind of dance around her, see what whatever. So like. I finally, I was like, you know what, fuck it, this is the last time, like, before I go home, I'm going to try to do something. So I went up behind her, like, you know, trying to dance with her, and then she just looks at me, she recognizes me, and, like, like looks back at me, she goes, I'm good. Mm. And I was like, okay. Right. <laughs> Great. And just walked away. So I'm assuming whatever you just said, you know, that actually doesn't make sense. She probably was like, right. yeah, he, he waited until the last minute. Exactly. Because to- remember, chicks got egos, too, so they, you know, they don't want to fit, and, and women want to feel like they're special. They want to feel like you know, they're the, the, the best thing that ever happened to you and all this other dumb shit. So if you're interacting with her in a way where she feels like she's, you know, second or third place, you understand? She's not going to want to, you know, she's going to be just, she's going to just want to reject you off of that. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So, you know, so that's, that's how that shit go, man. You feel me? Oh, man. Uh, yeah, I just want too much, too much of your time. Thanks. Thanks for all that, man. I appreciate what you're all doing. Right, definitely. Here. Appreciate it, bro. All right. All right, I'm good. All right, so what's popping? Who we got up in here? So, Manor91992, call up, because you've been trolling. Call up. Manor1992, call up, okay? The number is 646-481-3901. Manor nine one nine nine two call up. All right, but anyway, who we got else up in here? Tanner Davis, he didn't succeed. What's good, bro? Jason Green, big money. John Boy, uh, Kenwood Drive, what's up? Jason, was good. Yeah, so you know, flakiness, people. So like I was saying earlier, the the reason why you know women generally a flake on you. Is because they're not really feeling you. Now there's other reasons why they will flake on you. Right? Now, there's times where there's actually a legitimate reason why they why they will flake on you, right? But usually they'll let you know what it is and all that other stuff, and then they'll try to see you again later. Well, let me get this call real quick. Yo, what's going on? Yo, Mr. Locario, what's up, my dude? What's going on? Who's this? What's up, man? Sean Diamonds, man, out of Stanford, Connecticut. What's happening? All right, what's going on? What's going on? Yo, know, listen. Listen to your podcast a lot, right? I notice, man, a lot of dudes, they call up. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, I understand that the game takes a lot of practice. You know, you do have to approach a lot of women. Mm-hmm. You know, I understand that myself. I'm an older brother. Right. Uh, even, even me, man, you know, I'm on the train. I'm out. I step to women. You know, I speak. Some of them give me the cold shoulder. Some of them give me love. I get the numbers. Sometimes they flake on mm, me. Right. You know, I'm like, God damn, what's going on? I think it's like the climate of today also. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of women into a lot of, uh, well, not even women, you know, because I approach them, you know, if I find you, if I find you cute and attractive, you could be fucking, you know, 24, you know, right. 22, whatever. Right. To be 35, you know, 40, whatever, I'll step to you. Right. And, uh, you know, I check the, check the body language, mm-hmm. you know, I, I see, 
you know, whether it's kind of even approachable. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because I was on the train the other day to that girl. I said, God damn, she's fine. Mm -hmm. And uh, she saw me. <laughs> she saw me, right? But I didn't, I didn't like put it out there that I was going to step through right away, you know, because I kind of, I know they see you first. Right, right. You know, so I, play, I, I played it off. But I was looking at her body language. I said, ah, you know, she's acting like she's already going to shut me down. Right, right. You know right, what I mean? Right. So I just said, you know, I gave her the body language. It's like, like, you know, I wasn't going to step to you. I don't, you know, mm. I'm just here. Mm. But, I, but I did stand, like, real close to her and shit, you know, mm. just to check her vibe, you know? Right. Uh, so, so, you know, even in that flakiness, man. Well, no, first of all, hold up. I noticed a lot of dudes call in. These do a lot of, yo, a lot of you cats, your articulation ain't even strong. <laughs> like, your mouthpiece gotta be crisp, <laughs> number one. Right, right. I mean, I'm saying, like, you know, if you can't even talk in general, like, you start talking to a chick, she's gonna be like, what? Huh? I, I don't know what you're talking about. Right. She's not, she's not even gonna give me the time of day. Mm. But, I, but I, I do respect the fact man, that uh, you, you're doing God's work, man, because, you know, you're Appreciate eliminating it. all the homosexual activity <laughs> out there. No, word is fine, son. Like, and even your man, even the man that you co-host the show, yo, much love to that dude, man. Oh, that Miles, dude is yeah, that's my, that's my man. dude. That's my homeboy right there, man. That's this dude yeah, right that, there. Yeah, that dude's hilarious, man. And he's got, like, some good points, too, that he makes, you know? Right. Um, But, um, okay, so, question. Right. Like, uh... What do you what do you think, man? As far as the, the number you the, you know the women you approach, mm -hmm. the, the, you know it's a numbers game, right? Okay, right. so I approach I approach you know ten women, they all shut me down, or you know just hypothetically, you know I mean you know. Right. What, what, what do you what do you think, man? You think it's uh, just just all right, all right. So for example, I get this you know this lady was like, hey. How you doing? Where do I know you from? Mm -hmm. And then I was like, oh shit. And I said, she's kind of fine too. So I'm like, yo, um, now where you from? Whatever. And then next thing you know, she goes, you know what? Never mind. That's mm -hmm. okay. I'm, I'm good. And I said, what the fuck? Right. And I said, well, yo, this, this and the I thing. Said, this I the thing. Hold on. Said, hold on. This is right. the thing. This is the thing. This is the thing. I was just getting off work. This is the thing. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. This is the thing. Wait, let's, let's talk about the numbers game first, right? Oh, okay. okay. Is that this is the thing? You got it. Like, if you talk to 10 chicks, and you don't get any, you don't get nothing from ten of those girls, right? You got to right. talk to an eleventh, twelfth, thirteenth, fourteenth, fifteenth girl. Now, the reason why you got to understand there's a lot of reasons why chicks won't fuck with you, and 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 this is how complex women are when it you know in the game. And this is what guys don't understand is that a chick could reject you, of course, because she's not feeling you. She could reject you because she right. got a boyfriend. She could reject you because right. she's a lesbian. You understand? You don't even know she's a lesbian, True. but she could reject you because she's a lesbian. She could reject you. I think you. that's a big thing, too. Right. You know what I'm saying? She could reject you because she actually, um, she she's she's so, like, she got so much shit going on in her life. You understand? Yeah. That she's not even focused to even really, like, make anything happen. You understand? Also, right. a chick can reject you off a habit. Do you understand what I'm saying? Meaning that yeah. it's her habit to say no to, to niggas. You feel what I'm saying? Like she just yep. she's just used to saying no, no, I don't. You know what I'm saying? Like that's just how she's she is. So she'll just do that. You see what I mean? A chick will and, and, go ahead. What are you gonna say? She'll go home and fucking masturbate the rest of the night. Exactly. So <laughs> and also a chick will reject you because she's intimidated by you. Do you understand that? So. A chick, yeah. she will, she will be, she'll actually like you, and is a, she could be attracted to you, and she could be feeling you, but she doesn't feel like she's up to par to fuck with you, so she feels like that. What's gonna happen is if she does get with you, you're either gonna just smash and leave, or you're gonna play her. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So in order for her yeah, not to have to deal with that, she she rejects you up front. You see what I'm saying? Right, right. So, I try know. not to come on too strong, though. I come on. You know, you know, because I, I could get aggressive. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, and I know an intimidation factor could be could be part of it. You know, not a bad looking brother. You know, I carry mm -hmm. myself well. Right. Um. You know, I still try to stay, you know, on, on a humble side yet confident. You know right. what I'm saying? Right. Right. And, and uh, like even sometimes, like all right, for example, I'm on the train. There's two German girls sitting right in front of me. You know, 
So they speak in German, they talk, and they chop it up with each other. Mm. So I just butt in the conversation, hey, where you, where you laying? He's from, right. and they start giving me the rhythm, you know. But I'm just talking to them because I'm like, well, you know, I ain't, I'm not really. My intention is not like really to get with these girls because you know they're from Germany, you know they live up. In why, 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 they why not they, get with them though? Why not get with them? Talking to a black dude. But why, but why not get with them though? Why not try to make it happen? You see what I'm saying? No, you know, I know, I, you know, I didn't envision that because. I mean, you know, I just didn't see it. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Right, that's, and, that, that's, and that's, that's probably why. And that's the thing, you see, and that's the thing that, because you was even saying, like, you know, what, what, you know, they might not want to get with a black dude. You, that's, that's what you said. You know what I'm saying? So, like, how do I know that? Right, thing, right, exactly. And a lot of times, and a lot of times, and this is what I tell guys here, you got to, you got to be able to, um, you know, push through the situations and take it to the next step. Because a lot of times, guys eject themselves too quickly because they have preconceived notions of what's going to happen later or if she they think well she might not really be feeling me so let me just stop it here you understand and and I, I the thing is and I used to do that same shit too I remember years ago when like I would be trying to talk to Asian chicks and I thought this was my thought process at the time I was like yo these Asian chicks ain't fucking with no black dudes so then what happened was there was times where I didn't get with certain girls that I could have got with because I stopped myself because of how I thought. You see what I'm saying? Then once I got over right. that shit, I started talking to every type of girl. And then I was fucking with a whole bunch of Asian chicks. And it was just like, yo, I was like, what the fuck was I thinking before? I was missing out because of my own mind state. You see what I'm saying? And, and that's the thing, too. I've been seeing some fine Asian girls. I'd be like, right. God damn. I've been seeing all kinds of shit I want to do to them bitches, man. Right. But, but you know. <laughs> right. Like, so that's like what I'm saying. So don't, don't, don't stop yourself no, from no, trying no, to make right. it happen. You feel what I mean? That's all yeah, I'm saying. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. No Crazy. doubt, man. But but even on, on that other other note, uh, as far as uh, homegirl was like, yeah, no, that's okay, you know, you know, and then she just like cut the conversation short. I'm like, mm, right. What happened there? Because she was, because for her to even say, hey, where do I know you from? Mm. Is to give you know she's giving me some kind of rhythm. Right. Right. And then I don't know what it was, you know, because I mean I did I just got off work. I was looking a little. Like, you know, dirty as far as, but I'm still like good looking in my dirtiness. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and yo, and the thing is, yeah, too, you know, the thing mm. is, too, look, the thing is, too, you gotta, under, you gotta know this thing. A lot of times, you, you know, you gotta know uh, how to sort of control or, 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 or sort of lead the conversation to in the direction you want it to go. So, Right. Even because, you know, you said that she came up to you and was like, hey, I know you from somewhere. And then all of a sudden she was right. like, she was like, oh, forget it. And then she was just like walking away. Right. Is that what you're saying? Right. Yeah. Right. Something like that. Right. right. Exactly. So, so, so the thing is, the thing is, you know, there's so many, you could have, you know, went back up to be like, wait, hold on, hold on. Where you going? How are you just going to walk into my life and just leave like that? What's your name? What you, what you doing today? You know what I mean? Like. You, right. you, but I really you, had to kind of kickstart really right. uh, you gotta, uh, uh, throwing the mouthpiece on, right. on that. You got to you gotta get that in because this is the thing. Unless a woman is, when you when you approach a girl or a girl approaches you or she talks to you or you talk to her or, or whatever, any type of interaction you're dealing with a girl, unless she's showing you like 100% she's not into you. So let's say you see a girl in the street, you're trying to holler and she just keeps walking. She's not trying to pay attention to you. Let her, you know, you let her go, right? But if you see a right. chick and she's coming towards you or whatever, you see her, you know, on a train or the bus or whatever, and you say something to her and she actually stops and says something to you, you feel what I'm saying? Yeah. She stops and talks yeah. for a second. That's your cue or that's, your, you know, the, the, the key to actually keep the shit going because she's actually stopping there to talk to you. So now the thing is, is that a lot of guys, what they do is, is that they get... Um, because even the other dude that called early, he was saying he was practicing. You know, he he said he would go. He went up to the girl. He told her, "Hey, you got some nice shoes." But then he sort of kept it moving. And and practicing is good. You know, to practice and talk to them. But what you want to do is is that you want to always, anytime you have the girl's attention, anytime she's flirting back with you, or anytime she's talking back with you, you want to be able to steer the conversation in a direction to where you you're starting to uh, close the deal and make this shit happen. Because a lot of times, right. dudes get comfortable with just talking to the girl. Like, they feel good. Like, oh, I talked to the girl. That's cool. Like, I, I hollered at her. I said something. I said something to this girl, which is good. You should be practicing and doing that. 
but you don't want to get into that comfort zone because that becomes a comfort zone because what guys are trying to avoid, they're trying to avoid rejection. So they'll talk to a right. girl, but they'll never push it to the level where they're actually trying to close the deal because closing the deal means she could say no. You feel what I'm saying? Right. So you got to right, make right, sure you right. try to, you know, make it happen. You see what I mean? So, I got you. Know, you. So you got to definitely you. do that shit. But yo, listen, I appreciate the call, bro. I got to get a few more of these Absolutely. calls. Absolutely. When we get in, but Bad yeah. Boymembership.com. Exactly. I'm going there, man. I, exactly. you know, I, I still got to sign up. Definitely. I will be doing that, though. Sign up, man. I appreciate that, bro. All right? Absolutely. All right, peace. Later. All right, one. Yeah, man. But yeah, you guys gotta you gotta go in. You don't 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 get scared of these chicks, man. But um, well, real quick, let me talk about some flakiness before someone else calls. I'm gonna I'm a, you know get this in in a few minutes. But this is what I wanted to say. First, you're saying that women will be flaky because you know they're not feeling you. But there's other reasons why chicks will be flaky because a chick could be she could be feeling you. Damn, I got hiccups and shit now. God damn it, a chick could be feeling you, right? And she meets another guy who she's also feeling, but she might be feeling him more. You understand? So you said to her, let's meet up on Friday at 8. Then the other dude she's feeling more said, let's meet up Friday at 8. So instead of telling the nigga she's feeling more, hey, let's do Saturday or Sunday or whatever, she's going to flake on you and go with the other dude. You understand? And so... That's what a lot of chicks will do a lot of times. You feel what I'm saying? So you gotta you gotta be aware of that shit. Yo, what's going on? Who's this? Yo, I'm the call. Yo, what's up? This this your boy Jr. What up? What's going on with you, bro? Yo, so all right, I got a I got a couple stories and a couple questions and comments. It's um, it's not going to be real quick though. But uh, right, cool. I was listening to the last caller and the dude was like. He was talking about, uh, he was really intense, but he was talking about mm. the mouthpiece game and you not saying things to the chicks and all that kind of stuff. I kind of disagree with him. Mm. It's not about what you say, more mm. so how you say it, right? Right, right. Well, it's, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a combination. It's a combination of both. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. It's, it's a combination of both because and, sometimes... And this... But go ahead, what are you going to say? Okay, sorry, go ahead, man. Oh, no, I was going to say sometimes... What you say can talk you out of the situation, talk you out of the pussy. So you you still gotta you know watch what you say and know what you're saying. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, man, mm-hmm. totally. And uh, I'm gonna just uh, segue it into a story real quick, right? Mm-hmm. So I had uh, I got this friend, right? She's a she a few mutual female friend, a platonic female friend. She's mm-hmm. a pretty attractive chick. And uh, on two different occasions, man, we had like a little party at the house. I was chilling. I had her over, and there was some people that I didn't know. Right. Females, and she, you know, she introduced me to this little cutie, and you know, I ended up chatting her up. It, it, the conversation was really about nothing. It was I went on a trip to uh, South America, so we we, we talked about that. And right. Then, um, you know, that later that night we meet up or whatever, and me and the chick is talking. We talking and. We, we we didn't really do shit, no kiss, no night. But I get I got a little drunk in me, and I I got back to the house, and I sent a me- I sent a little message and shit, you know, some shit I should have probably said to him personally. But I was right. like, yo, nothing crazy. I was just like, I'm feeling you. Mm-hmm. You know, we should meet up again, hang out, get drinks, right? Right. That's all I really said. And she hit me back with the the, the, the friends on shit. You know, I ain't really looking for that shit right now. Oh, blah blah blah. <laughs> and like this shit happens to me like, like all the time, and then. The mm-hmm. biggest issue I got is with that and the, the fact that I get um, what you was talking about, how you need to step into the next level. Do you want to have that platonic conversation? Mm-hmm. Do you want to hit them with the, the flirt game, always trying to take it to the next level and, right. and tell them what stuff? Right, and, and, and you know what it is? To, you know what it is, too? This is the thing. This is this is the, the, the funny part about the whole situation because... You said you was out there talking to her, and then when you got back to the crib or whatever, you hit her up, and he was like, "Yo, let's, you know, let's get together and all this other shit, right?" And then so see, she, then she was like on that friend zone shit, right? See, most usually the reason why, right, the the friend zone shit happens is because when you were talking to her, you didn't do anything. You feel what I'm saying? That you you weren't flirting, you weren't building sexual tension to get her to want to actually 
fuck with you. Do you understand what I'm saying? And this this is the part that 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 guys don't understand is that for women, see, part of what makes them attracted to you is like how you act, your vibe. You understand? Because a lot of guys think, oh, I just gotta look cool with it, you know, and and look good, and everything's gonna fall into place. Nah, that's the thing. Women, they're going to judge you based off of how you're interacting with them. They're going to see, they're going to be attracted to you or, or, or not attracted to you based off of your actions. So what happened is, is that your actions were showing her that you were on some friendly shit. You feel what I'm saying? And then therefore, that's where the friend zone shit comes in. You see what I mean? Because if you would have probably been like flirting with her and, and really going in, and then you would have, you know, she would have got all riled up through that interaction which makes her actually want to continue to make that go down you understand because women are all women are doing is following your lead so if you are leading her in the way of looking of her looking at you as a friend that's what's going to happen if you're leading her in the way of you trying to uh you know make something happen on a sexual type of level that's usually what's going to happen now you have other situations where a girl you know, you might flirt with her and do all this other stuff, and then she won't be feeling you. But then you'll know that already through the through the interaction. You see what I mean? So, you if let's say you were flirting with her and you were really going in, but she was still not really feeling it, then you wouldn't have had to text her that night to say, "Yo, let's get together later." You know what I'm saying? Like, because you'd already known that she wasn't really yeah. feeling it. You see what I mean? But you always gotta yeah, do that shit at the moment so that you can actually see what's going on with her and see how she's feeling it, and also create that sexual tension in the moment to get her attracted to you. You see what I mean? Yeah. So that's really what it is because a woman's a woman's attraction to you has a lot to do with your, you know, with action, with things happening. You see what I mean? It's not just you're looking good. You know what I mean? And that's the thing that confuses guys because, you know, we see a girl, we, we see that she looks good and we're good to go. We're like, yeah, hell yeah, let's make it happen. A woman is more so how did the experience make me feel to want to continue the experience you see what i'm saying and so that's that's the that's the thing so you got to give her that experience of you creating that sexual tone because the funny part is women you have women who are talking to a guy who they're not even that attracted to or they're not really that into and then what happens is that he turns up the sexual tension and he actually you know does things in a situation that get her to follow him down that path of the sexual tension and that's what makes her actually want to actually do it now because she's like oh shit like she wasn't really even thinking about it like that with this guy but he basically sort of like imposed his masculinity i should say in a certain way you know to 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 to, to get her to feel that feeling to want to do it Women, you gotta understand, women are followers. You understand? They're gonna follow your lead. And whatever you're doing, you're still sort of leading that situation. Meaning, if you're allowing her to see you as that friend, you're leading her in the direction of seeing you as a friend. If you're allowing her to see you as that, you know, romantic sexual partner, that's what's gonna happen. If you're allowing her to see you as like a beta male or a simp, that's what's gonna happen. If you're allowing her to see you as an alpha male, that's what's gonna happen. You see what I mean? So everything you're doing. It's just giving her the indication it's the biggest of where she thing I go. struggle with is because I'm trying to be like project that um the alpha male mentality that mm -hmm. I ain't with the the friend zone shit blah 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 right and it's like you know what I'm saying it's like I ain't really or I'll do the complete opposite like I, this actually last night I went out blah mm -hmm. blah blah with this one chick and sometimes I go too far you feel mm -hmm. me like I'll I'll be on I'll be on some way or some other shit like. Mm -hmm. You like, know what I'm saying? I was like, I guess too much flirting. Like, I was like, you know, I'm, I'm about to do all this crazy shit. I was like, I'm about to eat your ass, all this crazy. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was I was going savage mode right. to try to overcompensate. And then it was like, you know, I, I even, we, and I made out with the chick. But mm. then, you know, later she sent me a message and she was like, oh, you know, this is, Oh my god, kind of relationship, blah blah blah. Right. Like, well, damn. And, and again, that that's and that's I'm kinda, and that's gonna see that's the thing that's gonna happen too. But notice, notice the difference though. You understand? Because she, the one you made out with, she's like, oh, I just got out of a relationship, blah blah blah. So she's she's rejecting you in the sense of seeing 
or, 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 you know, of it being like you and her actually getting together. You see what I'm saying? She's not looking at you as a friend zone dude. You feel what I mean? And that, that came because you were making out with her. You were doing that shit. So even though she wasn't really with it, as far as uh, doing it, the reason why she wasn't with it was because of her thinking of, oh, I just got a relationship. I have all these feelings, blah, blah, blah. You know what I'm saying? Because she she doesn't she didn't see you as a friend zone dude. If she saw you as a friend zone dude, she'd just be, yeah, let's hang out on some friend zone shit. But she didn't see that, and that came from you doing it. So I would say it's better. I would rather you go savage mode than to be on some, you know, cordial shit all the time. You feel what I'm saying? Like, it's yeah. better in that direction because at least in that direction, what's going to happen is, is that you're going to run into certain girls who are going to gravitate to you because of that because either way when you talk to women and you flirt with them or whatever you're not gonna you're still not gonna get every girl you're still not going to be able to close the deal or whatever with every chick but your chances of it happening increase the more that you're putting out the sexual tension and the sexual energy you see what i mean because women they want to have sex just as much as we do you understand or probably even more in certain cases they they want all this stuff to happen but again they are still waiting for you to give them the green light they're still waiting for you to take the lead because a lot of times women the things that women want to do they're scared to do it because they don't want to be looked at as a slut or a whore or they don't want you to see them a certain way or whatever it is like that you see what i mean so it's 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 a lot of different like dynamics because even for example sometimes it's actually more feasible to try to smash a chick the same night you met her especially if you're doing a whole bunch of sexual type of stuff because sometimes what happens and it's not all the time but sometimes catch her in the moment yeah like catch, catch her in the moment right like exactly she might be like you know what i gotta it's complicated and right. all that kind of stuff so why the why the what the iron is hot, you want to strike. Exactly, you want to strike when the iron is, is hot because yeah. because she's and ready at the I moment. Have trouble with the timing. Right. Do you think you have trouble? Because I'll be watching like no shit. I watch every like mm. show y'all do. Like the mm. last joint y'all dropped yesterday, you and Miles. Right. And Miles was talking about. Because um, I remember I called him uh, way a long time ago. Miles got on me about like being the social circle guy. He's like just. He's like, I need to step my game up, but right. about the season, it's like, it's, it's, it's about the coming season, like, what you doing right now, you need to go ahead and start shooting more shots. Right, right. You know what I'm saying, like, it's, it's cover season, and um, we we need to start taking more shots and start approaching more chicks, getting it in, putting mm. in more work, because right. our chances, just naturally because of the environment and situation, we have an increased chance, mm. you feel me, um, which you were saying earlier yesterday, and then another thing is, uh, homie, and I'm seeing some shit in the chat. That homie that was on the phone talking about the whole, he, he was he wasn't trying to talk to the chicks because they was German. So right. that first, the first, uh, I'm black, and the first chick that rejected me on some friends on shit, she was black. Mm -hmm. But the chick that was, you know, what I'm saying I was, you know, I'm almost going all the way. She was white. Mm -hmm. So it just depends on, you know, you the person and the person you're dealing with in the situation. Not necessarily right. the whole. Once you get past that whole like superficial barrier. Mm -hmm. Like the whole cultural, racial thing is right. really not there because these happy chicks, be, I don't fuck black dudes. Man, right. on the low, they be getting, you know, they be getting the black pipe on the low. Like, you don't even, you know, so it's just like, it's just, you can't even listen to what she say. Like, you always say, you gotta, on her behavior, and you, you don't know what they got going on. You don't know where her phone messages is popping. Right. You don't know what she got going on. So, mm -hmm. um, I just go with the assumption on some on some male female shit because I've seen it. I've been in situations where you know girls be like, oh, you know, I don't, I, I like black dudes, blah blah blah. But I'm right. like, shit, I'm hearing it's like it ain't going down. So I treat every situation as a male female interaction and like race and everything is secondary. Or exactly, not nah, real talk, real talk is a dude, I, man. The amount of white chicks that I smash is ridiculous. You understand what I'm saying? It's like. It's ridiculous. So I always find it funny when dudes be like, yo, you know, it's it's because it's you're black and it's because I'm black and it's hard. I'm like, dude, nah. You understand? Like, every yo, every every chick wants to smash black dudes or they want to get with black dudes, period. I don't care where, you know, the, the nonsense you're hearing on the internet, don't believe the shit. Trust me. Trust me. Even even if you think about it like this, think about, um, you know, when, 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 you know, people always say, what, women like bad boys, right? So, who do you think are the bad boys of society? You see what I'm saying? 
Who yeah. who who gets who gets villainized the most? You know what I'm saying? Who so so the thing is the 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 fact that even even if a chick is like you know looks at it where she's turned on by it because it's like oh it may seem taboo or oh I, you know she's fantasizing about the shit. Most of these girls want to fuck with black dudes, period. Because and also we're we're looked at as the most masculine. You feel what I'm saying? Just general. I'm just talking like you know what 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 the the perception is out there. You see what I mean? So. You know, are we are we trying to tell these dudes like don't be getting caught up in that bullshit, thinking you know these chicks ain't trying to ain't trying to choose because it's it's crazy out here. You know what I'm saying? So you know. Yeah, and uh, I got I got one more question. I'm trying to hold the line for the other dudes that's calling them, mm-hmm. but uh, mm-hmm. I'm I'm uh, I wear glasses. I'm a little I'm a little nerdy, but in the fact that I mm-hmm. I'm I'm comfortable with who I am and I accept it. But mm-hmm. as far as like my approach to the game. Should I do anything a little bit differently because of that? Like I watch anime and I read books, um, but I do work out and I do have a. I'm pretty. I'm like five ten. I'm like one eighty, right. and I got a pretty decent physique. Mm. It's just uh, I'm into some different shit. You mm. feel me? But I'm a big hip hop head and stuff like that. So how should I like? Should I, how should I approach mm. like? the game should I just keep doing what I'm doing or should I try to change it up nah nah th- that's the thing <clears throat> do do keep doing exactly what you're doing you feel what I'm saying because that that right there the fact that you do s- something different shit you understand if you're in an anime you, under- you understand what I'm saying that's something that's gonna be different about you that most people probably wouldn't expect most women wouldn't expect which makes you different you feel what I'm saying different is always better you understand what I'm saying so don't try to change none of that shit. All you need to do more, I would say for you, is that you just need to be a little bit more like assertive with your with your approach with women. You understand? Meaning that, you know, be a little bit more like sort of aggressive with the flirting and the building of the sexual tension. You understand? Meaning you don't have to go super savage mode, but you don't want to be too laid back you understand a good balance in the middle is good you feel what i mean so when you're flirting with the girl but you, you don't have to go like too overboard too crazy because you still have to feel out the you know the vibe and everything but you don't want to be too laid back where all you're doing is small talk and friendly talk to where she's not getting that that vibe and that sexual tension so i would say you know um yep. you know work on that but as far as you you know you're saying you know you you into like anime and all that shit is you could use that with other chicks who's into anime you feel what I'm saying? Or, or into that type of shit. Or women who aren't really even into that, you could bring them into your world. Bring them into what you're you're about or whatever. Like, you could go on some, you know, uh, be fucking with a chick and have her come through to the crib and be like, yo, you ever watch anime? This is, I'll be watching this shit. You know, we should check this out, whatever. You have some Netflix and chill. Show her the type of shit that you're into. You understand? Because all that's going to do is going to differentiate you from the other guys that's going to make you stand out from other people you see what i mean and so that's always say to guys don't try to fit in you know what i'm saying like do do you and when you do you that's when you're going to stand out because you have a whole bunch of different unique things about you that make you interesting so you got to use that to your advantage you see what i mean so don't don't you know try to switch up or do a whole bunch of crazy shit you know what i'm saying yeah, I feel you, bro, and uh, appreciate you taking the time out to listen to my call. Uh, you got the big inspiration. That's what's um, up. Appreciate I'll catch it, bro. every show, every video. Matter of fact, I got to watch the one you just dropped about increasing your chances with women. That's what's up, I'm about bro. To watch it like right after the show, eighteen minute video. Yeah, so appreciate I'm, it. I'm, all, I'm on it. Appreciate, appreciate it, man. It, dog. All right, man. I'm holler at you. Peace. Yeah, I got some shit flying in my eye and shit. God damn it. All right, what's going on? Hey, Mitch Locario, how's it going, man? I'm chilling. What's going on with you? It's nice. All right, cool. So, quick question. Mm. So, like, in your, like, previous videos, you talk about, you know what I mean? Like, you have to keep intrigued mm. with women and, like, basically be indifferent mm. to, like, get them hooked. Mm. So, like, 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 how do you do that when, you know when you have to like show interest and like flirt mm. you know what I mean it's like kind of hard to like do both so like in that situation like what would you do you talking about so you're saying that um 
how do you how do you sort of show that indifference but also be flirting because the flirting is showing interest is that we asking right 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 so this is the thing when you see when you flirt right because the thing is when you're talking to a girl and you're flirting with her she knows you're interested there's nothing wrong with showing a girl that you're interested right but what you have to yeah. do is is that within the situation when you're talking to her you have to always be pulling back you know falling back and then moving forward falling back moving forward so it's it's a it's a back and forth thing so you're showing the interest but then you're pulling the interest back or you show you're showing a, right. a little bit more interest you're pulling interest back and this there's a different ways that you can do this you can do this through touching so let's say if I'm talking with a girl and I'm flirting with her and I have my arm around her and I got her real close to me and then all of a sudden I take my arm away and then I, I fall back into my seat like this you feel what I'm saying and I'm just talking to her regular so now she's thinking yeah. why, why did he do that does he not want to touch me anymore like you understand so that's what's going on in her head her head based off of what I'm doing or what happens uh, you, you see so what I'm saying like the two step forward one step right back kind exactly of thing. exactly or like the yeah right so gotcha. and so the thing is is that you want to have that sort of, uh, you know, that sort of dance throughout the interactions you're having with women through through everything you're doing. You understand what I'm saying? So even if you get a girl's number, you hit her up and you be like, yo, you know, let's go out Friday. You go out Friday. I have a good time. And then you don't call her for a week. So she's going to be like, what the fuck? Like, what, what's up with this guy? You understand? And then you hit her up again. Yeah. You see what I mean? So it's always that that back and forth type of, you know, that type of stuff. So it's always, it's you showing interest, but at the same time, you're you're falling back. You understand? And there's there's a lot of different ways that, you know, you can do this. So uh, another example is, let's say you're flirting with a girl and she's, she knows you're feeling her. Then you fall back and you just start asking her questions as if you're evaluating her and judging her. So now she's like, okay, well, the guy's interested in me, but now you, she seems, she feels like she has to, uh, impress you with her answers. You see what I mean? So like, I could be talking to a girl, I could be holding her real close or whatever, and then I fall back and I, I stop holding her and I'm just in my seat and I look at her and I'll be like, so, you know, like, what what type of things you get into? Like, you know, I like girls that, you know, I like when girls actually have other things going on besides just Instagram. Like, what do you, what do, you do? You feel what I'm saying? So now... She, she feels like she has to show me that she's actually interested in, you know, that she's into other shit. You feel what I'm saying? And then you can see based off of her tone, you know, see how she's coming out, you know, uh, responding to you. If she seems like she's trying to impress you, that those are good signs to see that she's really trying to make it happen and she's really feeling you. So it's really just, you know, the, the push and pull, the two steps forward, one step back type of, type of uh, you know, vibe. You see what I mean? So that's really, yeah. that's really all it is. See, dudes get confused because they're thinking... You know, then like, if I if I I don't want to show too much interest, but then how do I get her to know or how you know what I'm saying? So it's it's it's, it's basically exactly. you're doing I was both lost at the too. Same I was time. like, what the fuck? Like, right? You're, like, you're doing I both do at the but, same. Uh, but like, you basically cleared it up for me. Right. Gotcha. Right. So you're basically doing uh, both right, at cool. the same time. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's all it is. You feel me? Right. 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 And I have um one more question too. Yeah. Go ahead. So. Alright, so I like just recently grew, um, um, uh, graduated college, mm -hmm. and like in like school, like I would you know go to parties and like uh, um, approach random girls in the club and everything. Mm -hmm. But like now since I'm like home, I don't know why. Like I have this like newfound uh, uh, approach anxiety. Mm -hmm. So like I'm like I'm like trying to figure out like back in the uh, approach girls in the club at like school. Mm. But I'll, when I come back home, I'm like, oh damn, I can't like uh, approach one girl like on the street. Well, it's well, you know, it, what, I mean? you so know like, what it is? Is is it's it's really just your you were in your comfort zone at school. You know what I'm saying? That's all okay. I was. It's is mainly because you're in that comfort zone because when you're when you're outside of the element that you're used to being in, mm -hmm. then it's a whole different thing. You understand what I'm saying? It's a whole different thing because. Um, you know, so you, you just have to see the thing is you have to get yourself just used to approaching women, period. You understand? Because you were so used to approaching women sure. in your school environment that it was just like, okay, I'm here. I feel comfortable here. But now that you're in a whole different environment and it's not a school environment, it's a whole bunch of people all over the place that's just, you know, doing a thing. 
then it's a it's a different right. environment. So now you you feel uncomfortable in it. So you just gotta you know practice in different locations, different environments, so that no matter what happens, you gotta you know you keep you know doing your thing. You feel what I'm saying? Right, right. It makes sense. Cause like I would always think like, mm. damn, like I, I like did it before, mm. but like now, uh, 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 uh like I, I um can't do it. Right. So like, what is one mindset like? to like have like uh let's say if i see a girl on the street like mm. what is one mindset to have that i can keep in on uh, my mind so i won't be like scared or like shook right you know what i mean well like like i and i was talking about this actually in in because I, I have a joint called the bad boy mindset on the bad boy membership so all you guys go to bad boy membership to get the shit so in the bad sure. boy mindset you know and i've talked about this before too where you gotta uh. have in your mind that women want to fuck you. That women want you. Period. You understand what I'm saying? Gotcha. So, so it's mm-hmm. almost like yeah, it's almost like this arrogant thing. It's almost like this thing that, even if, to the point where it it, it, it sometimes can sound unrealistic and insane. Yes, you, you understand what I'm saying? Like, right, right, like right. every chick wants to. Because even so like a DJ Khaled kind of like right. It's like, like we the best. Watch bullshit. Exactly. <laughs> like all day. You understand? Because even in this book, the yeah. book how to have sex with women a day. The first chapter I talk about this. I talk about because even in the um, let me let me wait, let me let me see the back because I have in there right. I talk about how you know being the type of dude who can get any woman he wants. You feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Or thinking mm-hmm. and believing you're the type of guy who can get any woman he wants. Now this doesn't necessarily mean you're actually gonna get any woman you want because you might meet a girl who's a lesbian and you you're not gonna be able to fuck with her because she's a lesbian, right? But it's yeah. the it's the mindset that keeps you going, and it's the mindset that motivates you, and it's the mindset that keeps you confident when you're talking to the girl. So if you're talking to the girl and you you already thinking she wants to fuck with you, right? That's going to make her feel that confident energy, and that's going to make you get her in a lot of cases because you already have that mindset. You feel what I mean? Yeah. So that's that's what it's it is. Like crazy. Yeah. Uh, uh, like it's like crazy because like I I actually like went out mm. and then um uh, know what I mean like I had it and like hours to like kill mm. so basically I, I was planning on on challenging myself so I was like all right so within this this thirty minutes I'm a uh, um, approach at the 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 very least one girl mm. and like I don't know why like uh, like I like couldn't do it right. but the but the thing is is like I watch your um content. Mm. And then, like, when I'm home watching your content, I'm, like, confident. I'm, like, all right, but I can do this. Mm. But then when I get in the situation, like, when I see the... Yo, you there? You, it's like you cut off. <laughs> like, okay, yeah, you can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you now. Go ahead. All uh, right, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, ba- basically, all the confidence, uh, like, that I have when I watch your own videos, mm. like, it just flies out the window right right and again that's because my life problem is like maintaining the um mm. and that's also too you gotta you gotta you have to make sure you're consistently out there talking to chicks you understand what i'm saying because mm. the, the 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 thing that's stopping you right now is fear right and the fear comes okay. from you not being grounded in reality you see what I'm saying? Because if you're grounded gotcha. in reality, you'll realize there's nothing to fear. You see what I mean? Because once you start talking to it, like I always tell guys, if you go out, if you, you it, this is a good a good tactic you can use, right? Yeah. Go out when you go out, you know, on a Friday night or whatever. Try your best to talk to the first girl as soon as possible you understand so let's say you're going out to a spot or whatever you you and your friends drive out somewhere you park your car you get out the car you go and walk into the clubs and the bars area whatever is you know if you see a girl coming down the street even before you get to the club just talk to her immediately you understand because the thing is is it's usually the first girl who's the hardest to holler at right because you're 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 always hesitating and you're you're thinking too much or whatever. So if you get that first girl out the way, it'll get you into the the, the state of actually wanting to, to keep doing it. You understand? Because you get that fear out the way, you get that anxiety out the way because you done did it already. I just talked to that girl two minutes ago, so now I'm good. You understand? But yeah, what you also have to do is is that 
and this is this is something that that's really uh you know it works and most guys don't do this is that you have to uh make sure that there's um you 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 got to make sure that you don't um you don't take too much breaks in between you talking to a girl you understand what i'm saying mm -hmm. so basically yeah. let's say you talk to a girl at you know 9 p.m or something at the club right and then you talking to her mm -hmm. for maybe five minutes then at 9 15 you should be talking to a next chick and then at 9 25 you should be talking to a next chick and then at 9 30 you understand what i'm saying because the thing is, you don't want to get too much time in between you talking to one girl to the next because if you take too much time, so let's say, for example, you get out the car with your boys and you talk to that first girl walking down the street, right? If you take another hour and a half before you talk to another chick, that anxiety starts to set back in. Do you see what I'm saying? Gotcha. So, So you have to... It's got to be a continuous thing like, boom, I'm hollering at this girl, got her number, cool, let me go holler at this next girl because then... You're getting yourself in a state of being in that flow. It's almost like this. It's like if you if if we're in a if we're near a pool, and what's going to happen is the pool is so cold that you dip your foot in, and you're like shit. This shit is cold, so you you keep like sort of dipping your feet in and taking it out. But what you got to do is you got to jump in the pool, feel that cold, and then stay in the pool continuously. So then once you stay in the pool you're not going to, it's not going to feel cold. You're not going to feel that cold anymore because you're used to it. So you have to stay in the pool. So exactly. this is what I'm saying. When you're talking to girls, you have to stay in the flow of talking because then it's going to, you're going to be feeling used to it. If you take too long, so if you go into that pool and then you get out the pool and you stay out the pool for another hour or two and then you try to get back in, it's going to feel cold again. And you're going to have to dip your foot in again. Then you're going to, it's going to take you a while to get back in. And then it's going to be harder for you to get back in the pool. So you see what I'm saying? It's the same type of thing. You got to make sure that every time when you're out, you talk to this girl real quick. Cool, I got her information or she rejected me, whatever. It, it don't even matter. I'm going to the next girl. I'm hollering at her, going to the next girl. And then me, you might talk to the next girl for maybe like 20 minutes at the club, you know, 25 minutes. Maybe I'll start making out. Maybe she gets lost with her friends, whatever. Cool, right after you finish talking to her, go to the next girl. So you got to have it a consistent level of activity going on step by step by step by step without uh, without too much um you know uh resting time in between because if you rest for an hour you're back to that anxiety you feel what i'm saying yeah and so this All is right. and so this is why i tell guys to talk to women every day because if you talk to women every day guess what you're staying in that flow continuously all the time. You see what I'm saying? Right. So that's how it right, is. Right, right. You feel what I mean? Got you, yeah, got man. you. All right, man. Appreciate it. I'm going to let other people call in. I, I don't know if they're like bugging out, but yeah, thank you, man. Appreciate it. Definitely, man. Holler at you. All right, peace. Uh, all right, thank you. Take care. Peace. Yeah, man. Who we got up in here? I think I saw my dude, Blackie Speaks, up in here, man. Shout out to Blackie Speaks. You guys got to... Uh, subscribe to my dude Blackie Speaks because he has a lot of good content, a lot of good stuff on hip hop. So shout out to, to my dude over there. What's going on? What's popping? What up? What's going on? Chilling. Who's this? My name is G. I'm G as in George. What's going on? Where, where you from? I'm in uh, Central Florida in Orlando. Okay, cool, cool. So what's going on with you? Ain't shit, man. I was just calling to holler, you feel me? Like, mm -hmm. you know, just to get your opinion on some, like, you know, like, say, like me, I'm kind of like in the birds and shit like that, you mm -hmm. feel me? And, um, I guess, you know, like, you, like I heard you speaking to the one dude, you mm -hmm. know, he said the college, like, he in college, and then, you know, so, like, for me, downtown is hella far away. It's like 30 minutes away, 40 mm -hmm. minutes away, you feel mm -hmm. me? Like, I feel, you know what I mean? I, I hope I'm not trying, I hope I'm not crashing anything like that, mm -hmm. but it's like, it's kind of bugs me. I guess I'm a little older, so it's like, I don't know if there's like a new song chasing ass and shit like that, you feel me? Like, mm -hmm. and then if it's, like I said, it's a desolate, kind of like a desolate part of town, so right. it's like, um, you know what I mean? And then, and like I said, I ain't a jit, you feel me? I'm a little older dude, I'm, I'm in my late 30, mm -hmm. so, um, but I'm, I'm single, you feel me? I'm single and, um, mm -hmm. 
matter of fact, I'm talking to a chick now. She cool. Right. You know, but I guess I guess I feel like, you know what I mean? Like, um, I feel like, uh, you know, like she should choose up. You feel me? Like, I feel, you know, I, I, I think about that concept that you said, like, yo, I'm the Jordans. You feel me? Like, mm. you know, um, that's something that she should be choosing. You feel me? So I don't feel like chasing like that. You feel me? Um, Right. But but don't get don't get me wrong, a lot of dom little you know, a lot of dom diva chicks out here in Orlando, a lot mm. of um a lot of flavorful women out here. Right. Um I, I think about that because I was think you know, I wrote down a couple of little notes here while I was listening and stuff like that. I didn't get to listen to the whole show, but I listened to some in the beginning and some in the end. Mm. And I got one of my mans out here, well, you know, we, we all from you know, we all from up top and one of my mans he be flowing and he's like, Yo, gee, I'll be bagging chicks and bagging chicks and I've seen him. I've mm. seen him bag. Right. You know, but the the peculiarity is like, yo, you know what I mean? Like, and I tried to hit him up recently, you know what I mean? Like, yo, what up, let, you know, let's link up, or blah, blah, blah. Mm. And it's like, I feel like, like, you want me to dick ride to hang with him? I'm like, you know what I mean? <laughs> Shit is weird, and you know what I mean? And, right. And I'm like, you know, and I'm like, damn, dude, like, if you, you know what I mean? And, I've, and like I said, I've seen him back, you feel me? Mm. But I'm like, damn, um, you know, uh, you know, if you bagging, you know, why you not showing love, you feel me? So that was one thing I wanted to holler about too, like, because I, I looked through, I just recently requested you on, on, um, on, on Facebook. Facebook. Okay, cool, that's exactly. Yeah, because I, I, I've been studying, I've been studying, and I study under, um, under Tyreek, you right. know what I mean? Right. You know, Tyreek, you know, more, more political now, so right. then I kind of was sticking with you, um, more recently, and, uh, I even listened to the show yesterday, um, I listened to, more recently, I kind of stopped for like a long time, six months, and then really kind of hopped back on recently. Right. And then I was listening to you and Miles last night when Miles was talking about photography. Right. And, you know, like being about what you want to be about. And I didn't really feel that. You feel mm. me? I, I really felt what you was hollering, you know, being confident and stuff like that. So um, I was really feeling that. But then, but then too, I guess I'm in a kind of like stage where I feel like, you know, dudes be like, do, well, I think y'all talked about a little, talked a little bit about that. And, and that show itself, like, y'all was talking about how dudes be like, uh, like, you know, dudes be like, uh, dudes be like chicks hoes, you feel me? They be like, they mm. slaves, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, and I guess I'll be peeping that, and I'm like, I don't know, I don't, I don't have that sad, maybe that savage and animal in me anymore to be really running around chasing, you know what I mean? So I just right. peep, I move, and, and it's scarce out here, so it's like, there's always that distance, you know what right. I mean? There's a lot of scarcity out here, so... You're always around, per se, strangers or whatever the case. You know what I mean? Since it's not like, you know, the actual environment. You know what I mean? Because right. if you're like out here, you go to somewhere like, per se, like where everybody goes to Walmart. It's like, you know, a big ass box is just square, mm -hmm. um, square big ass box, well lit. You feel me? So it right. does like, it does rock with your um, with your ego a little bit. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And then. And then I guess here too, it's like, it's not a, it's either a young town or an old town. Right. You feel me like. Well, that, I think, you know, that, you know what I think it is? Really you know what I think it is too? I think for, I think for you though, you know, cause you're saying that you, you living in a spot where it's not really that much shit popping and you got to like sort of travel a little bit to get to the mm -hmm. spots that, you know, where you could see something going on. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And um, the thing is, you know. In, it, unfortunately, there are places where you know shit ain't even popping. Because even I, I did a video uh, like a, a, a few months ago where I was in Hartford, Connecticut, and it wasn't shit going on over there. And I was just like, "Damn, if they're out here, it ain't nothing going on." So the thing is, you always got to figure out what's the, the 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 places that's near that's near to you that you can really uh, frequent and go to and get familiar with that. You understand what I'm saying? And, word, 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 you know what I mean? You. And also, also too, like, sort of get familiar with the women around those areas so that you know, okay, well, um, if I hook up with, you know, a chick here or there that is out there or even in my area or whatever, like, I still got something going on if I do go out to those areas. You know what I'm saying? So the thing is, you know, word. like, if you do, like, online dating or even, like, if you just go out to those areas... Um, meet chicks, see where they're from. They're probably in this, you know, in that in that specific area or just somewhere near or, there, and then you can make it happen. You know, and the crazy, I could I could I could dialogue with you a little bit. Mm -hmm. And the crazy thing for mm -hmm. me, 
it's like I've been I've been out here in Orlando for like seven years from Atlanta. Right. You know what I mean? Atlanta, Atlanta, you know what I mean? I'm on a train, popping, flowing, you know what I mean? Right. Like, you know, it, it's it's real choosy out there because, you know what I mean? It's like, you know, it's 10 to 1, you know what I mean? So mm-hmm. it's, real, it's real flavorful like that, you know what I mean? But, um, so when I came out here, I was still on the immediate transition of that I was still flowing because right. even when I came in town, I had bagged something, you know what I mean? I bagged a couple... You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But then as things started to pan out, things started to get like desolate like that. But check this out. This is what I want to holler. Mm-hmm. You know, recently for the past couple of years, you know, I work, you know, I have a specific type job and mm-hmm. all, you know, the jobs where I work is mostly, you know, ma- you know, dudes, you know what I mean? Mostly mm-hmm. dudes. So right. I just keep that dynamic. But then I picked up a recent job, which is, you know, close to the spot. And oddly, it's, a, it's wild. It's like a little hooded type bar where I live at mm. and um you know I, I, I peep all the dynamics you know what I mean I see the little it's like it's such a rough little corner of the town that I see all types of wild stuff you know what I mean like I see a little I see the prostitute game mm. uh flowing I see you know what I mean I see the little dot you know the little dot business flowing I just see the you know what I mean I see it like that mm. so it's wild you know what I mean like you have all these dynamics but um but you know, like I was saying one thing, like I was saying one thing, and I'm and I'm gonna hop off, you know what I mean? Because mm. I could call another time and we could dialogue again. Right. But I was keeping that even on the even on the Facebook, like when I go through the friends, like when I when I you know I see all your friends, the thirty one, you know, thirty one hundred, and then I remember they used to have a little option where you could kind of like, you know, if you put, like if I typed in Orlando or location or something right. like that. It would pop up everybody that was in the little, you know what I mean? Right. In that vicinity, you feel me? Mm. Because, because I mean, like it, I don't know. Maybe it's kind of crazy. Maybe I'm just an old head or some shit like that. But I feel like you know the whole Biggie concept. You know what I mean? I'm not the, uh, I'm not a, like you, you, you. You know what I mean? Like I'm not only a client, but I'm the player president. You right. Know what I mean? Right. Like, like we don't have like as a community, we don't have like these situated little player clubs where. Suska dialogue, you know what I mean? Get out, you know, click up, da da da. Right. You know, um, and, well, that, that, and the thing that is, and the thing of, is too, you know, what, is, what it is is that you gotta. The thing is that you know, because because I I I feel what you're saying. Like you see, you are older cat, right? Uh, and you starting to you starting to peep what's happening out here, what's going on in the streets, and all of that, and it's not really feasible. You know what I'm saying? Well, for, that's what exactly what it is. For what you're trying like to do. It's a numbers game. You know, the risk is, what they say, the risk is outweighing the reward. Right, right. And so, and so this is, this is where your game has to be even more on point because now, you know, even though like, because like you said, it's a numbers game and also, you know, it's, it's you, the, the, the environment you're in isn't like, you know, it's not popping where you're directly at. So you got to put in, right, so you got to put in work to get yourself to other areas, and on top of Mm -hmm. that, you got to make sure your game is tight, because now you're trying to get more quality in the game, because like you said, you said you was messing with some chick, and, you know, what happened with her, like, what's going on with the chick you messing with? The shit is super recent, it's funny, because really I was dry for a long time, and all of a sudden she popped up, Mm. And no man, you know what I mean. Like I just then, you know what I mean. I, I, I spit, you know, my truths. I, mm-hmm. I but I said I wrote down something. I was like, yo, I'm honest. You feel me? Like I kept it a thousand. Mm-hmm. Like, and that's for choosing. You feel me? Like it ain't tripping or nothing like that. Now she looked, she looked good. But then too, I guess I'm at a point in my life too where it's like it was like um, I was feeling like you know what I mean. Like I don't want to seduce a chick. You feel me? I don't mm-hmm. want to put a chick in a position where like, because I can't even really tell, since we ain't link up yet, mm. I can't really tell that if I'm really feeling her like that. Right. So, I, I had got another number before that, a little recently, a little while ago, when I had the math, and I just didn't go hunt shorty down, you feel me? Like, I could have went. Right. You so, know, it sounds really sound like, sound like, like, sound like you, it sound like you, I don't want to destroy nobody's little world, you feel right. me? Right. Like, and it, you know what it do? It sound like you're, you're, you're exhausted with the game at this point, you feel what I'm saying? And Word, so, I mean, I've been studying for a long time, right. you know, and I, I think I hit, you know, I hit my plaques in some areas, you know what I mean? Like I said, I've been studying under Tyreek for a minute, mm-hmm. so, and studying under you for a minute. Right. 
I got I, I had bought your book when it was digital maybe two years ago and right. I found it fruitful, you know what I mean? Right. Um, you know, out of bag two in a day. Right. And this you know, when I read it, I, I went out, I went downtown and it was flavor, you know what I mean? I was like, Oh yeah, like, you know, because have two days basically, you know, holler in the moment, you know what right. I mean? Like right. the present, you know what I mean? Like, right. oh, what's up, what's going on? You know, that so that was real that was real flavorful for me, but like you said, I just I seen I guess I seen the corruption of thoughtism. Right. And then <laughs> So it's like, yo, it's not, it's not, you know what I mean? It's not, it's not fruitful right now, but, right. but you know, but I still, I still live on the, on the concepts of, you know, the, I, I, I like to say I'm old and sexy, you know, George Clooney uh, right. type, you know, and I want to live that lifestyle, you feel me? But mm. I, I don't think I'm in a perfect demographic for it, you know what right. I mean? Like, I think, you know what I think it is, this is what I think also too is that, see, it, you know, since you you were you were older cat, you understand, and you sort of you sort of like figured out sort of what you want. Now you just gotta really put in put in uh, uh, you know some more work. And and the thing is, I feel like you don't necessarily you're not motivated to put in the work. You feel what I mean? What? But if you do put in some effort or a little bit more effort, then you'll start to actually get a little more you know get more things going in your in your in your uh in your way you know what i'm saying or get get things coming your yeah. way so it's just more so actually you sort of like it's or it's almost like you gotta uh focus your game more on what type of things you want so you get all of the the the, the fat out the way you get all of the the bs out the way so you don't have to deal with it because yeah. i'm, I'm kind of like that too where i'm at a point where I already know the type of chicks I want to fuck with, and if they don't fit into that joint, I don't even really pay them too much mind. You feel what I'm saying? Or and, and I, I, I think about you a lot energy. too, like you know what I mean in the aspect that you are you, you in New York. You feel me? Like right. you, you know, look at all the. I mean, come on, like you mm. in New York, dog. Like that's you know all flavors women. You feel right. Me? Like, now there's a lot of joints in New York, I, but it, but mm, again, there's, exactly. but there's also a lot of bullshit too. You feel what I'm saying? And, well, and my, well, and my well, dude, my dude Miles actually lives in in Orlando right now. You know what I'm saying? Oh, and, so, oh that's yeah. Wild. So he's out there. I'm actually I'm actually gonna be um, coming out there in, in like January and shit because we gotta do, do some work out there too. But um, but yeah, I'm gonna be out there is. too. So you know, holler at me when you know uh, that, when I'm so, out there. So and, that's and crazy. Good. You and Miles just shot a video, so Miles stay flying in and out. He flying yeah, yeah, out yeah. Because Miles comes out here to do photo shoots and all the other stuff too. So he be and then he, but, for, he, but right. he was out out here. Right, so he's out here now. He's about That's to go crazy. back to to Orlando in a minute. You feel me? But yeah, we got we got definitely we got definitely chop it up. But y'all, let me uh, let me hit you later because I got a few more. No doubt, no doubt, man. Stay up, man. Peace, right, blessings, right. and you know, blessings to the community. Peace, man. Appreciate it. Word of one. Yeah, man. See, he's he's that's a that's a that's an old player right there. That's a that's an older cat because <laughs> he got the older the, the older player uh, problems up in there. You feel what I'm saying? You feel me? So what's up? Who we got in the room, man? Who we got in the room? Von, Von Wilkes. What's going on? J. Alize Beats. Crazy. He didn't succeed. What's going on? He didn't succeed. You still talking about looks up in here? <laughs> but I was all about looks. Crazy. Stanley, what's going on? You said, how how are dimes more easier when they are the ones who are more selective with the men they date? See, dimes aren't really, you know, a chick that's a dime, man, or, or what most would consider a dime because it's still all subjective. It's not necessarily that she's more selective. It's just that she doesn't get a lot of uh choices that she wants to a certain extent you understand because if she gets let's say if, if she got like 10 dudes who was all on point that she was feeling she'll she'll try to fuck with most of those 10 dudes you feel what i'm saying but the thing is is that you gotta understand like women generally even if they have dime or not get approached or and they they interact with a guy or or men generally who are the same as every other dude. You understand? I was talking about this in a video earlier that I did um, today where I was saying that you got to be on some different shit. You feel what I'm saying? 
So the call in number six four six four eight one three nine zero one. Yeah. It's crazy. You said how do you suggest blind men get women? <laughs> look at that. Oh, look at the movie Ray and and uh he'll, he'll, Ray had some game. You got to look at what he was doing. <laughs> oh, man. 365 Tonka truck fit. What's going on? Jason, you said if a chick curves you, then friends you months later on social media, is that her way of staying near you because she was feeling you? I mean, a chick, you know, it's it's not, it's you know, she could just be hitting you up because she saw you on the, on the social media, like, oh, I know this guy, let me friend this dude or whatever. You understand? I wouldn't look too much into the shit because sometimes you you know these chicks will be on some attention horse shit, so you got to remember that. Yo, what's going on? Who's this? This is you dude, Sheldon, from the chat room. What up, bro? What's going on? Nothing much, man. I just want to know if you had any tips for transitional conversation. Tips for, for what conversation? Transitional. Like, say you're talking to somebody who may work uh, at a retail store, mm. at a, you know, at a restaurant or something like that, you have a friendly conversation, but mm. you want to transition into something else. Right, right. I mean... Well, again, the the conversations, you know, is really just about you, you know, you leading it in a, in a certain direction. So, you know, like let's say if if if, if it, well, if it's a chick that's working, you understand, you might not have enough time to really have a conversation with her. You feel what I'm saying? So, you yeah. might just need a slide of your card and be like, hey, listen, you know, um, you look, you know, you kind of cute. You know, I need you to hit me up on um, tomorrow. Let's listen. You know, let's make something happen. Let's go out. You understand? And then you just slide the card and keep it moving. You understand? So in those situations, you're gonna have limited time because she's working and doing all that. But if it's just, if it's just a girl, just in general, that you meet somewhere, right? The transition, yeah. the transition really, you know, um, it can either happen abruptly or it can happen in a more smooth way. So. For example, of the transition happening abruptly is that if you were having small talk and you're just saying, yo, how, you know, what's up, where you from, what's your name, blah, 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 right? The transition abruptly yeah. would be right after that, you might say something like, you know, you know, yo, you got, you know, I just noticed you got some sexy ass lips, right? So you went from just small talk to just, yo, you got some sexy lips. That's an abrupt transition, right? You just, just going directly into the transition. Now, a more... Yeah. A more indirect transition, a more subtle transition, is when you might ask a question that's going to lead into the transition. So, for example, you know, you might say something. Let's say you're talking to a girl, you're having small talk, and you might say, "Hey, you know, did you see that new movie about so and so? You know, it's some some like sex stuff or some rom uh, romantic comedy, whatever. Did you see that movie? So then she'll be like, either yes or no, and then you know, let's say she says, "Oh yeah, I didn't see that," or "I didn't see it." What what is it about? And you're like, "Yeah, it's about you know." Um, these people that get into like these swinger clubs or whatever, and he's like, so you know, have you ever thought about that? Have you ever, or do you get into that that type of freaky shit? You understand? So you transitioned into talking about some freaky sex shit through asking the question about the sex movie. You see what I'm saying? So the okay. thing is, so the thing is, all you're doing is just really doing it in that mode where it sort of seamlessly seems like you're just flowing through the conversation naturally, but now you're on some talking section. You feel what I mean? Yeah, I've had a few transitional conversations before, mm. but sometimes they're not always to the situation in which I want. And I'm not 100% sure mm. with the one that I talked to at the retail store. Mm. that being friendly, she's really full of it, but I know i got to push the envelope right. on what it is I'm dealing with. And sometimes maybe I, I, I overthink the thing and try to be too smooth, but mm. you know, I just want to get some tips from you because I feel like there is a lot of uh, leeway right there. Mm. Some of these women are willing to listen to you. That right. If you can get in that ear a little bit, you might be able to get something. Because it all comes down to say if a woman stops for a short period of time and listens to you, and if you got enough game, you can go with it. Right, right. And, and and what I would say too, what I would say too is that you know, especially when you're talking to chicks at their job. You want to make sure you do that shit fast, like really quickly. You understand? Because sometimes, you know, 
they're they're in a situation where them talking to you too much can get them in trouble. You see what I'm saying? So now you don't want to go from a guy who he was probably interested in to a guy who almost got her in trouble. You see what I mean? So the thing is you being able to slide her the card and do it in a slick way also makes her see that you know how to interact in a situation. So she's she's already impressed by the fact that you sort of respected her situation to know that you should just, you know, do it quickly so that she don't get in trouble. You see what I'm saying? So it's it's, it's Oh yeah, little, I already got my card. Right. So it's little different things like that that you gotta know how to do to make, you know, the shit go smoothly. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, and I just wanna give you props off of that. I've been listening to you for a while. And mm -hmm. I use some of your stuff and Appreciate you know, it. a couple of weeks ago it was a good week for me. I asked him a few things. That's what's up, bro. That's what's up. I appreciate that man. I appreciate that. Yeah. That's what's up. Always, yeah, I always love one, to hear some, some one, good shit. You feel me? Yeah, and just one more note. On well, some of those guys talking about, you know, dealing with women, I feel like, you know, I don't want to uh, insult them too much. Mm. But I feel like they need to get... I feel like just the way they were talking, man, they need to work on that. I mm. thought their verbal, their verbal communication mm. was not on point. I right. feel like you, you should encourage a lot of brothers to read books mm -hmm. and learn more about other cultures. Right. Because a lot of times when you're interacting with somebody German or... Japanese or whatever it mm. helps if you know about their culture real Sometimes talk that's I'm, a good point I was that's typing in the chat point. room that if I don't know abroad I teach you speaking another language and she may be bilingual I'll try to get up a phone and figure out a few words I can speak to her in her language so she's like oh let's speak up what's up right 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 now that's a good point that's a good point because the more the more well versed you are in just in a lot of different aspects of life you understand the more that you have to bring to the table you know what I mean exactly and I believe like I mean, intellect is a part of game. A lot of these dudes are right. neglecting that. Mm -hmm. If you're an intelligent dude and you sound like you know what's going on, that's all a part of being a leader and leadership role of what right. you can play. And, and your part as, as the man in the, in the game as opposed to, hey, what's your name? Of the crab. It's like I heard that stuff before. Right. Real shit. Nah, you're you, you, you on point with that. Real shit. I, pre I, I definitely agree with that. You feel what I'm saying? That, I just had to say that, you know, because I heard a few of them call in and I'm like, man, just the way you're talking, if I was a girl, I'd tell you no just from the start. <laughs> <laughs> and also, you know, I don't want to promote nobody else's stuff on here, you know, because we all about Mr. Macario, you've been dropping yeah. high fire. But I know you got a lot of game back today from your dude, Tariq. Oh, he yeah, yeah, that's what's that. up. That's, that's the dude he went, right there. He, he went in on a lot of that interracial dating, so, you know, dude was interested in that. He, he, told, he told people a while back about, about that stuff, but, mm -hmm. you know. Right. Enough of that. It's all about the car. We had to put that out. That's what's up. That's what's up. But I appreciate you calling in, man. Oh, yeah, man. Love from uh, California, North Cal. Keep doing your thing, man. That's what's up. All right, bro. All right, Pete. Ooh, man. So what is up, people? Shit, I'm fucking getting tired out this bitch. You see my my eyes looking like I'm looking like I'm fucking high and shit right now. I'm like, God damn. It's, it's, what is it? It's one nineteen in the morning. 119 a.m. and shit. You feel me? Yeah, so what's good? Rashawn, you said, How do you handle stink pussy? <laughs> I don't. I'll be like, I'm out. I'm like, I'm good. I'm like, I ain't fucking with that. I'm scared of that shit. I, I'm scared of that shit. When this shit. That's the worst, too. When you've been trying to fuck with a chick. And then you you getting you getting some shit popping and that shit smell like garbage. You're like, oh my god, terrible, terrible, crazy, man. So what else is going on, people? What else is going on? What time is it? Shit, it's, it's, it's mad. I'm I'm about to call it a day in a minute. But listen, again, I want you guys to remember. That I have the audio book, audio version of this book. So we got the ebook, the hard copy, and the audio version. And you can click the link below this video to get that. Oh man, I hate when this 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 stream be lagging and shit. My mouth is moving while uh, it's all fucking late and shit. It's not catching up to the. To the joint but but yeah make sure you guys get that also make sure you go and um you know 
check out the 30 minute game sessions okay make sure you hit me up for that you guys are missing out if you're not getting with the 30 minute game sessions okay that's when you hit me up we go one on one for 30 minutes chopping up some game you feel me and also uh make sure you guys go to bad boy membership and join the bad boy membership and also uh hit us up on patreon too so shout out to all the people who are patreon subscribers because you know we got the bad boy show on the patreon heavy you feel me what's going on in the chat room people let me see what y'all what y'all talking about real quick let me see what y'all talking about real quick so um J Alize Beats was good. So you said you purchased the copy of How to Have Sex Two in a Day. That's what's up. That is what is up. But yo, listen, guys, I'm about to head up out of here because I'm like tired as shit right now. I'm usually I'm usually up more than this. I'm, I don't know why I'm feeling so tired right now. I think I, I I fucking woke up. Did I wake up early today? Like crazy early? Yeah, I did actually. I woke up mad early, and I ain't get no sleep last night. So that's why I'm like, I don't know why I'm so tired at 1.30 in the morning. Usually I'm up to, like, fucking 5 a.m. But, um, but yeah, but I'm going to do another live stream on Friday at the usual time. What I'm doing now is I'm going to be doing shit randomly during the week. You feel what I'm saying? But then on Fridays, it's always 3 to 5.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You feel what I'm saying? But um, but yeah, make sure you guys go to get How to Have Sex Two Women a Day, the hard copy, ebook, and audio version. All right. Um, let me see. Let me shout out to you guys before I get up out of here. Kev Smith, you came mad late, man. You missed it. Yeah, you missed it. You missed it, man. It's about to be a wrap, man. J. Alize, you said, "How can you set alerts for live streams so you don't miss it?" I think you gotta. Click the bell on the subscribe button or something like that, or subscribe, and I, I'm sure it's supposed to tell you when I'm doing them. Or you, you know, what you do go to uh, my Facebook, type in Hashim Trends Locario, and friend me. Because then, if you friend me, then I'll put the updates up every time when I do the live streams. I'll put the updates up saying, "Hey, I'm about to do a live stream," and then you'll be able to, you know, get up on it. You feel me? So, yeah, man. But shout out to everybody in the chat room. We had who we had up in here. Um, Sheldon Smith, Sticky E, Exploded in the Building, The Alpha Male, Kenwood Drive, He Didn't Succeed, J. Alize Beats, Kevin Smith, or Kev Smith, um, Sweet Potato Pie was good. Who else we had up in here? Um, shit. Let me scroll through this. Lexus 119, Jermaine Jones, Ka Music, True Transient, what's going on? 365 Tonka Truck Fit. What else we had up in this joint? My dude Blackie Speaks, shout out to you. Moving in Silence, Paul Sambula. Who else we had up in this piece? Got a, a few people up in here. Wisdom, whiz, and all that good shit. But, yo, appreciate you guys. As always, I definitely appreciate you rocking with me every time. I definitely appreciate it. Make sure you tell your friends, share the videos, and all that good stuff, right? So, I'm out of here, people. I will see you guys live again on Friday. All right? So, I'm out of here. Remember, the truth is inside you. Peace. I'm gone.